With so exciting's welcomes into the fire, the exciting young son of a gun, Geelong Falcon outside runner, Geelong Cats father son, Oscar Riccardi. Nice to meet you, Oscar. Nice to meet you, LJ. Good to have you on. Well, first things first, mate, congrats on the Geelong confirming that they will take you in the rookie draft if you aren't nabbed by another club. It has to be nice going into the draft knowing you're definitely going to be in AFL football in December. Yeah, no, it's um, it's pretty exciting. Obviously, got got told, and um, yeah, talking to dad on the way home from the from the meeting that we got, and he was like, "Look, no matter what's going to happen, you, you'll be on an AFL list next year." And it sort of sort of just hit me as I was walking home. Um, got home, got a bit excited, jumped around a little bit as you do, and um, yeah, it's it's just been a bit bit of a wait now, but um, look, try not to think about it too much, doing doing other things to keep me occupied, and when the time comes, the time comes, I guess. Yeah, you brag about it a bit at school, I'm guessing. No, 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 no way. You can't do that type of thing. Oh, I can't do that. No, <laughs> I like it. I like it. Now, you were two You were two when Dad finished his career. So I'm guessing you don't remember much of that. Have you had a chance? No, I don't, that? actually. But um, I've been told some good stories. I used to sit with uh, Mum and all the AFL stars' wives. So apparently... Um, we used to sit up there and it's pretty pretty cool to think about, but I uh, yeah, never really got to witness it properly because I don't remember much of it. Yeah. Have you had a chance to go around the club with dad after his awesome career? Yeah, yeah. So um we I've been I'm pretty affiliated with Geelong or have been over the last couple of years doing a father son program with them. So um yeah, they get me in and a few of the next gen academy boys in every now and then and I've been working with them pretty closely this year. Did a few sessions in at the club and obviously them having me at the VFL level um, earlier in the year and training with them. So I was in there quite a bit. So it's been, yeah, it's been good. Yeah. Now, your dad, he played 288 games, was Geelong's best in Ferris in 98 and played in three grand finals. We don't elaborate on the outcome of those though. What yeah. a player, hey? Does he talk yeah. in school oh. or yeah. is he more humble like you? Uh, no. It depends. We have a bit of a scuffle every now and then. I always tell him, oh, yeah, look at this. I'm going to do this and that. When, and he goes, mate, you still got 288 games to catch me. So, um, look, he, he knows. He knows he's good. And he'll tell me about it, put on a few DVDs because his bloody games aren't on the tally anymore. Um, so, he yeah, chucks them on and he'll show you what he did so well. But, look, I'm pretty keen to show him what I can do and um, hopefully, yeah, get surprised him a little bit. Yeah, he was so close to 300 games, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, um, his hamstrings weren't too good at the end of his career and obviously finishing up in 06, missing out on the premiership in 2007 as well. So 300 games plus a premiership would have been all right. But, um, yeah, the old fella's not too, not too happy. Yeah, 288 is still a pretty fair rep in my opinion. Oh, sure is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's move away from Dad because you very soon you will get your chance at the big time. What was your junior footy like? Were you were you always one of the best players, and was there any pressure on you because of the name? Um, no, I was never that good of a player, really. Um, I played most of my career in the twos for my local club until about last year when um a coach gave me a a role from going from the under sixteens Division Four side to under nineteens Div One, and um so obviously I took that opportunity and. He got me then into the Falcons program. That was my first year at Falcons. I was never there last year. Um, I was a late invite and obviously, yeah, now I've got to the point where I am. But yeah, as a junior, I was I was pretty shocking up until year 11. Yeah, that is a pretty big jump. Did you say under 16 mm. is different to uh, under 19? Yeah, under yeah. 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 I, that's a big jump. <laughs> yeah. 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 How was the first game for the uh, Div 1? It's pretty nerve wracking. Yeah, I was, or I'm not, I was, Um, I've jumped up in height quite a bit this year. So I was still a real small, small little kid. I'm not that heavy either. So I was about like 60 kilos when then, that that game. And um, yeah, so it was a bit, bit nerve wracking, but um, I had a good game and sort of held my spot that in that team the whole year. Yeah. Now, yeah. you played for the Geelong Falcons in the NAV League. I'm sure you were never going to play for anyone else. A good year, maybe not the way you wanted it to finish, but nevertheless, you had a great team. How did the year go for you, mate? Um, obviously, being my first year in a NAB League program, I went into the preseason thinking, just give it your all. Um, and then being selected into the final 50 or 60 kids that were 
at the Falcons was um, a big achievement. So then I moved on to training and be- playing as best as I can so I can get in the first game. Um, and then obviously being read out on the Thursday night for my debut in round one was um was quite surreal. I was pretty happy and got home and like really prepared myself for the weekend. And then um yeah, ended up having a solid spot on the wing the whole whole year. Missed out on one or two games because of a calf injury. Um, but other than that, yeah, it was a great year, great first year, and like couldn't couldn't thank the boys more. Yeah, you should be proud of yourself. An amazing first year, mate. Thank you. That's okay. Right. Now you got to play with a few guys. I've been lucky to catch up with. Jai Clark, of course, Ollie Northman, and I have fellow Geelong boy, Ted Closey soon. It must be good to have other boys going through the same thing at the moment and three great guys at that. Yeah, obviously, um, Jai being the captain, Ollie and Ted both being deputy and vice captains. Um, they were three great players, three great leaders. Obviously, they were doing most of the work at the club. Um, but, yeah, playing alongside of them was, um, yeah, pretty unreal. Sort of dreamt about it when I was... Well, not dreamt about it, but sort of thought about it last year. I was like, oh, it'd be nice to be in their shoes and play alongside of them even. Um, but playing alongside them, like Jai developed me as a player. Ted and Ollie just did the same thing as well. So they were always pushing everyone, especially me. And um, yeah, to be alongside them this year was yeah unreal. And for them to have the same sort of roles now as Jai being a top 10, Ted having the same commitment to Geelong and Ollie hopefully, well, fingers crossed, I'm pretty sure he's going to, but fingers crossed he gets picked up as well and all alongside them and the AFL next year would be unreal. Oh, they're all absolute superstars, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. You kicked five goals from the win this year and have played midfield minutes along with time on the half-back flank. Being you're an elite runner, which position do you prefer, mate? Um, definitely the wing spot. I I love um I love playing the wing. Obviously, Dad played wing, two hundred eighty eight games along the wing and half forward. But obviously, the half back games I played um good fun. It was different to play a different role uh, role. So it was um pretty pretty new. So I was, I was literally always just a solid solid winger, um through my whole career. And yeah, definitely definitely playing a different role was a bit different. Um, but took it at one hundred percent and um had a few good games off the off the half back. But definitely yeah, wing's my favourite spot. Yeah, no wonder your dad's hammies gave out, 288 oh. games in the wing. That's yeah, exactly. Sad. It's not, not smart, but it's, it's good. Yeah. Now, you got to play with the big boys at Geelong, and let me just say, it's a very nice goal. What was it like playing against the bigger bodies? Because let's be honest, me and you wouldn't win too many wrestling matches. <laughs> no, not at all. Um, obviously, I, I trained with them for a little bit before going into the games to get a sort of bit of a feel of it. Um, we did a good couple of match sims and then obviously getting my name called up to play against the San Newham Zebras um, was pretty pretty good. And then going into it, uh, I remember running on for my first first couple of minutes. Um, I ran on next to Toby Conway. Um, yeah. Big bloody 210 or whatever, however tall he is, massive bloke. Uh, running alongside him out, I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be good. And then um, straight onto the wing against um, Wanganee Miller, who played for St Kilda. Um, so it was straight into it basically. Um, and then a few couple few uh, ground balls here and there sort of got me got me going. And then um, yeah, obviously just kicked the goal. Um, that was a massive confidence booster. Uh, definitely definitely put my hopes up very high. And um, just decided to, just decided to go for it and didn't really think of it much. And after the game, I was very sore, getting bumped around every now and then. But um, no, it was good. It was good. Yeah, you get a bit starstruck by anyone out there. The biggest name was out there was Sean Higgins and Luke Dalhouse, Asava Adagalea, uh, Mitch Nevitt was out, um, Dempsey, Conway. Yeah, just massive names, um, obviously, for Saint, uh, the Sandringham as well, Wanganee Miller, especially play, playing on him. Like, first uh, first game playing on an AFL player was, um, yeah, it was pretty pretty surreal. But, uh, yeah, it was good. It was good fun. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah. The truth be known, you're only a small fella. With the, with the weather in Victoria as wild as it is, you can't even go out in this wind. But you do, but you don't need to be big because you're a running machine, aren't you? A smart player who steps through traffic. Have you always been an elite runner, mate? Um, yeah, obviously my endurance is the massive part of my game. Um, obviously being big wouldn't be too bad. I, I do need to put on a bit of size. Yeah. I think I only weigh in at 67 kilos or something, so... It's a bit bit light for the for the big league, but um, look, I'll eat a few steaks and uh, it should be right. But no, 
Um, obviously, yeah, with this weather, it's pissing out at the moment. It's no good. Um, just got out of the, just got out before, got for, went for a bit of a run. So good thing I got out before the the weather turned to not that good. But um, yeah, through my whole career, I was like, as a in even in primary school, I was winning the cross country, the year six cross country as a year four. So um, yeah, I've always been a good runner, and I think I got it from my grandpa because my mum's dad used to be a a late runner. I used to do old marathons and everything so the genes have sort of worked in my favor and yeah been a, been pretty blessed with the endurance part and obviously winning the state combine 2k um also is pretty pretty good yeah pretty lucky with those genes mate yeah very lucky oh and how crazy is the weather been i don't know about up there but down here in adelaide it's just been all over the place yeah yeah i've heard about that i've got a few mates up in adelaide they've been showing me videos and that but um god geelong is shocking at the moment it yeah. is like what are we a week a week and a bit off summer and it is pouring down rain every day and it's about 12 degrees it's, oh mate i would die to go up to somewhere warm yeah it just sounds like it sounds like here mate i don't no, even know what's going no on <laughs> no good. yeah you remind me a lot of a guy i really love and that's max holmes you have so many similarities and he is a gun do you have a role model that you follow or someone you compare your game to? Yep, I sure do. And that is Max Holmes. Oh. Um, he, yeah, him and um, Ed Langdon, they had two players that I based my game off pretty pretty much. And um, the other day I got, got to meet him. It was pretty cool. Um, I was, uh, where was I? I was doing a little interview at the, down at St. Mary's, just a local club around from mine for uh, Channel 10. And then um, I walked walk around and Toby Conway, Mitch Nevin and all that. And Max Holmes is standing there and he came up and yeah, said g'day and congratulated me. And I was like, oh, to have an AFL player like come up and introduce himself to me was pretty good. So he's um as even off the field, he's a ripping bloke. So it's good to, yeah, it's good to be um, based around him because yeah. I've loved watching him this year and um yeah, I've based my game solely off him. Yeah. He's just an absolute legend and he is a gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He is unreal. Yeah. Okay, so let's tell these Geelong supporters what exactly they get from you. Well, first things first, a terrific young guy, a smart footballer with clean hands and an incredible work rate, a guy who can run all day and find space in an elevator. You can play multiple positions and impact the game. A young guy who once again gets in the system and builds the body will become an elite AFL talent. What are you looking forward to improving on when you get down to the Geelong club? Oh, thanks, Alja. That's some nice words. Um, but I'm most looking forward to uh, putting a bit of size on, I think. It's like um, it's been a pretty big goal of mine to you know, put on a bit of size over the year because I was told by a few clubs that, um, look, your main downfall will be your, your weight and your size. Yeah. So um, throughout the year, I didn't have much time to you know go into the gym as much as I wanted to because obviously having a pretty busy, busy year training, three, four, three nights a week playing a Saturday, Sunday, um, so I was doing as much as I could, yeah. uh, but yeah, as soon as footy was off, I've been, yeah, putting myself in the gym, throwing a few weights around, um, but yeah, the, the most exciting thing would definitely be putting a bit of size on and then playing alongside or training alongside the, the big names at Geelong, like Patrick Dangerfield. Yeah. Um, yeah, that'd be, it'd be pretty unreal to get down there and, you know, have a fair crack, but it needs to, it'll be a big pre-season, I think. So, um, I'm just hoping to, you know, have a have a good run at it and hopefully do what I need to do to even maybe possibly get a game next year. But who knows? Yeah, that'd be awesome. And just eat a few snacks. I reckon we get some size on. Yeah. Oh, mate. It's, not, it's not that simple, but I, I wish it was. I wish it was. <laughs> yeah, mate. Trust me, I know. <laughs> you were invited to the state combine, mate. Congrats on that. You killed the 2K which I knew you would. How did the rest of the testing go? Um, yeah, good. I was pretty happy with it. Um, was testing with a few few mates of mine. Uh, we had a little group together. We were in a group with Teddy Closey, uh, Harvey Gallagher, um, a few boys like them, and we all tested pretty well. We're all, you know, having a giggle now and then. But um, obviously the 2K was my was my bread and butter. Um, yeah. that's, what I, that's what I was mainly looking forward to and, just to, you know, have a have a crack at everything else. Like my 20 meter sprint was 3.00, whatever it was. Uh, but the downfall was um my jumping. Jumping off the left foot and right foot. Oh, not the left foot, but jumping off the right foot. Bit weird. Yeah, a bit weird. Yeah, definitely not my dominant foot. 
No, but you must be proud of the 2K. That's a pretty impressive time. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty, pretty good. Yeah. All right, let's ask some less challenging questions. You get your first paycheck in the AFL. What are you buying? Ooh. Um, actually, I, my, I need a new phone. So my phone's pretty broken. It's pretty smashed up at the back. Um, But, yeah, I, I will need a new phone. I'll tell you that much. But I don't know how much, how badly I need it. But can you can you see how smashed up yeah. that is? Yeah, I can see yeah, that. Yeah, it's, um, it's not ideal. But uh, oh, did you ask how I did it? Oh, no, I don't think it did. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I uh, I sat on my phone. Really? It was in your pocket yeah. or just sat on it? No, it was it was literally on the couch and I sat on my phone and it I got up and it was smashed. I don't know how I did it, but uh, I don't know how my, my yeah, <laughs> anyways. But um, I'll probably probably get a new phone. <laughs> There's a big lineup for a club. Are you playing the AFL card? No, 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 not in, not, not at all. That's too, that's not my, that's not, that's not what I would do. No, not at all. Be humble, mate. <laughs> I'll line up. Yeah, be, be patient, be patient, Harry. Exactly. <laughs> Who is your favourite AFL footballer? My, my favourite AFL footballer this year would be Max Holmes, um, yeah. obviously, but uh, all time or... I want to say dad, but at the same time, I really want to say Joel Selwood. So he's, um, yeah, definitely, definitely Joel. Joel can sit over, over dad, I reckon. Oh, how good was his grand final day? Oh, unreal. To see him win his third premiership, um, mm -hmm. yeah, unreal. Yeah. Now, I presume you are a Geelong supporter. Yes, I have been. I sort of, I was sort of born into it. Um, I told Dad a few times I'm going for a different club and he was not happy. So, yeah, I was pretty sure I am going to stay as a Geelong boy. What other clubs did you go for? Uh, no, nah, I never went for another club, but I always I always took the mickey out of him. I used to say, oh, I'm going to go for Carlton this year or I'm going to go for Port Adelaide this year. or yeah. And he'd just get, he'd get all rolled up. And I'd be like, no, nah, I'm just kidding, Dad. I won't, I won't do that to you. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. What's, what's your dad's favourite start or story on himself? Oh, um, I think he had a 40, 48 possession game or 45 possession game and kicked two in against Bulldogs, I think. I've been reminded of that a few times, but um, yeah, no, that's definitely his, his most, most, or actually he did kick six, I think, five or six in a game. So it's, it's one of those two, but I'll let him decide. Yeah, I don't reckon you'll be able to beat those 40 possession records. Oh, no, nah, not at all. We'll be tough. We'll see, though. Oh, very tough, very tough. I'll have a crack. Yeah. A few little questions about you away from footy. You're having your last meal. What are you ordering? I would order, or oh, I have a Chinese shop around the corner from my house, and they do a killer crispy chicken, and they have this sauce. I don't know what the sauce is, but it is unreal. So you get this, you get this crispy beef, and you tell them to cook them in the sauce, and I could eat that for days. So that's definitely, definitely well, my last meal. Do you want to give the place a shout out? What's the place's name? Oh, it's called um Jufu Garden on Packenden Street. So right. anyone, anyway, Angela fans watching, look, get along to it. Awesome. A holiday place you'd love to visit? Um, I love going to Bali. Yeah, Bali. I think it's pretty stock standard, but I always have fun in Bali. So, and I don't really have any plans to go anywhere else other than, yeah, Bali. I think so. I'd put I'd put it up there still. Yeah, it is a pretty relaxing place, at Bali, isn't it? Yeah, it's unreal. Good place. Sport you play if you weren't playing football? Ooh, I love playing basketball. I cl I claim to be a pretty good basketballer. I'm not that good, but um, I claim to I claim to be a good one. How many points are you averaging in game? Ooh, 86. <laughs> Ooh. Look, big, big stat line, big stat line. Big stat. <laughs> What's your worst? I'm no Ollie no Northern. Pardon, mate? I'm no Ollie Northern. He was a basketball boy. Yeah, big yeah. He was, he, was, he was real good. Yeah, he was. Mm -hmm. Worst habit? Biting my nails. Oh. I'm terrible with that. I my nails are shocking. 
I'm always I, when you you know when you get nervous and you keep biting your nails. I, it's I like bite my nails. I don't understand how people do it. Oh, I, I don't, I've been doing it for years, and I've always tried to stop. And then I think I'll stop. I'll be like, oh yeah, my nails are looking good, and I'll go, oh wait, no, they're not. And yeah, that's definitely my worst habit. Always biting my nails. Oh. And finally, would you rather be on The Bachelor or Survivor? Ooh. Um, I think I'd go Survivor. It's yeah. a bit more challenging. Yeah, Survivor's, Survivor's a good game. Yeah, um, yeah I, reckon, I reckon Survivor. Yeah, I reckon you go well at the challenges, mate. Yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> well, Oscar, you're an absolute champ and it's been amazing talking to you today. All the best in the draft, and in particular, for your career ahead. May it be a long one. Hopefully. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Good to have you on, Oscar. Thank you, Jake.